we have come a long way. Uh, as I talk about the, the future, the next 10, 20, 30 years to come, we have come a long way. I was in this city and witnessed what eviction was all about. The first eviction that I witnessed uh, firsthand was uh, the eviction near Machakos County bus stop. Uh, what do you call this settlement? Muoroto. Very bad experience. I lived in the eastern part of this city and this was my way home every day. So I got to appreciate Moroto as a settlement right in the middle of town. And then one day Moroto was no more. And I thought to myself, Moroto is not the structures that you see here. Moroto is about the people, the mothers, the children, the fathers, everyone who lives there, the traders, everyone. And in one instance, Moroto was not there. So I tried to imagine um, being a resident of Moroto. That was not easy for the people of that, of that settlement. We have come a long way. I would wish to see the next 10, 20 years, definitely. Learning a lot from the past, from the Moroto experience, that that is not the way to go. A town is about the people. A town is not about the buildings that you have in it. It would not be a town if we had very beautiful buildings with no inhabitants. That's not a town. That's a concrete jungle. You call that a concrete jungle? That's a concrete jungle. But a town is about the people and the concrete jungle. Of course, the users of the concrete jungle. So I'm looking at the next 20 or 30 years, having number one, solutions towards people settlements. We cannot continue living in these conditions. And I can assure you the solutions will come from the people who live in those settlements. Not you or me, the engineer, the planner, the architect. Yes, we have a role to play. The communities cannot play the engineer role, the architect role, the planner role. We will come, uh, of course, as professionals, but play the lesser role. Enhanced governance in our towns. Uh, more and more people appreciate and understand what it means to be on the forefront to decide how a town ought to grow, be managed and be sustained. That will be the future urban of Kenya. And then last but not least is the transparency in the whole issue of land governance. We see now an awakening about land and how it should be used and appropriated within the entire city. It's quite consoling to see people's settlements being on the forefront on land use within a city. For example, some of the best planned, best examples of use of technology to understand settlements are within the slums that we have, areas that we call slums. Yet they are pioneering some of these technologies in the city of Nairobi, for example. Uh, we have, yes, we have neighborhood associations, but pretty loose neighborhood associations. If you want to see the real neighborhood associations, go to the people's settlements. That's the way to go. And I believe if a city, if a city can go that way to develop strong neighborhood associations, we will have smart cities, we will have working cities, we will have functional cities, we will have the real cities in our settings.